Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Paul Reed and I'm a photographer. Aren't we all? Photography has been my love for what seems like forever. Since I was a young boy and I picked up my first camera, that was my father's camera, something that he got sick of using at the time. And I went off and started taking pictures with that camera along with my friend. And it was just a real passion and I fell in love with photography. I decided way back then, just in my early teens, that this is what I wanted to do for a living. If I could spend my days being a photographer, this was the ultimate dream for me. As the years went on, of course, like most, life just gets in the way of our dreams. And it did with mine. I got a job just like everybody else. And, you know, that money that I got from that job, that just pursued other things. And yes, I, I stayed loving photography. I still did weddings and things like that. But those things were really at the time just a way to make money. I wasn't really pursuing photography the way that I should have been. I never wanted photography to be a job. And, and honestly, neither do you. What you want is photography to become a way of life for you. If that means that you're able to leave your day job to do photography full time, just make sure that the photography that you're pursuing is actually the photography that you love doing, not just photography as a job. So if you don't like doing weddings and things like that, then that's the last thing that you should be doing. People just take on these photography jobs, usually just because they, they want the money, they need the money to pay the rent. And this is a trap that we can get into whenever we turn something that we love into a job. I definitely did some of this. I, I did weddings, some weddings in the way that I didn't want to do them at times. I did some portraits in the way that I didn't want to do them. And my photography really suffered because of this. And that dream that I had, that just got put to one side because it, it just got so confusing for me. And I'd stopped pursuing the actual dream of the photography that I really wanted to be making. It might surprise you that I've not always been this way. I haven't done photography full time like for years and years and years. In fact, it's a year right about now that I left my job to become a photographer full time. The path to here really only started about four years ago. This is quite a recent thing for me. And four years ago was really the time when I decided that this was what I wanted to do, that I couldn't just ignore these dreams anymore of being a photographer, of creating the art that I wanted to create. And it was only three years ago that I actually started to put these plans into action. Now within probably around six months, I went from being just some unknown photographer to being somebody that was out there and I was getting a lot of attention as a photographer. I was winning awards and all sorts of things. So it's really important that you just start that path. If this, this is what you want to do, if this is your dream, then you just need to start the ball rolling on it and start to outline what it is that you want to do. I can't tell you how thrilled I am to be in the position that I'm in now where I'm doing what I love to be doing. This month I had one of my images on the front of Amateur Photographer magazine. Now this is a really big deal for me because this was a magazine that I used to buy in my youth. This was a, a magazine that I used to love to buy as a teen and never ever would I have thought I would have a photograph on the cover and then there's an article in there with my images in there too. So this, this is just an amazing thing for me and it may seem like a small thing but to me it's absolutely huge. Being a photographer and actually making a living from it Look, it's not easy. There's months where I've looked and I've thought, am I even going to be able to pay the rent this month? It can be difficult. It can be tough. 
But when you're doing what you love doing, it's worth the struggle, it really is. I'm also really happy to say that this same photograph that's on the cover here is also up, well it's been shortlisted for the British Photography Awards as well as another couple of my images which I'm going to show you now. This is just amazing as well because you really you want to be thinking about a concept of a photograph that you want to take and just start thinking about that and make it a reality. It's okay to dream about things but you've got to actually put them into practice. You can see that helmet from that shot just there and this helmet was something that I went looking for for this shoot. This is how I, I tend to do things. I start to just go shopping for props and start to really come up with an idea for an image. You need this support network of people. It, it could just be one person who really encourages you to, to follow your dreams. I'm not saying tomorrow you should just go and just pack in your day job and just you know say right that's it I'm leaving to pursue photography but what I'm, I'm saying is that you need to start planning your escape from that day job if this is what you want to do. I wish that I had some kind of mentor over this period of time certainly during those that first year and that's the reason why I do a mentorship program which I do in blocks of either four or eight sessions and it's to help people along the way help them pursue their dreams of photography that dream for photography doesn't necessarily have to be something where you want to do it as your day job but it could just be something where you're wanting to just be better at photography, you want to pursue something like an exhibition or you want to do a photo book, whatever that dream is, now's the time to start planning to pursue that life short. For me, it took a personal tragedy in order for me to wake up and start to pursue my dreams with photography. Photography really helped me during that time. Photography is such an amazing tool for expressing yourself, for really getting through things in life. I can't tell you the amount of times where I may have been down or just not happy and it's photography and the expression with art that has really got me through those times. I'm also so pleased that it's this same image that I printed as a platinum palladium print. Platinum palladium prints are just such a beautiful, beautiful method of printing. Not just in the process, but the actual prints themselves are just incredible. And I just loved printing that image. Also, just to have that image as a shortlisted photograph for the British Photography Awards is also an amazing achievement. If you feel that you've got just a love and a skill for photography, then you can really pursue that. You should pursue it. You owe it to yourself to do so. Look, if I can do it, you can do it, surely. I'm not saying that this is gonna be the easiest thing that you're ever gonna do if you wanna pursue photography as your dream. I'm just saying that you owe it to yourself to pursue your dreams. Fighting through those hard times just makes the rewards even more sweeter. So start writing down those goals that you want to achieve as a photographer and an artist. That's where it all begins. I just want to thank everybody that has really supported this channel. Everybody that supported my photography with your comments and your kind words. I also want to thank everybody that went over to the support the channel section and then went to the buy me a coffee and then just contributed a little bit there to me. Now that honestly, those things really mean a lot to me and they really keep this channel going. I just, I appreciate it a lot. And also become a member. I've got a number of things which are coming out soon where you're going to get great discounts off those if you become a member. Again, that's under the buy me a coffee section under support the channel. Now I could really do with your votes for those three images that are up for a win at the British Photography Awards. Although the judges make their choices, 
There's also a People's Choice Award and that's done by the votes that the people make. So I'd really appreciate your votes on those three images. I'm going to leave a link in the description for those. If you really love that Platinum Palladium process that I use to print sometimes, then head over to the link in the description for RJ Print Lab and he'll help you out. Maybe that is your dream as a photographer to have your work printed as Platinum Palladium prints. And lastly, if you want help pursuing those dreams of yours, then by all means get in touch and I will be happy to mentor you. I'll put a link in the description for that too. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, let me know your dreams as a photographer. I'll see you next time.